What's up fiends? Alucard here. Today, we're going to take a look at all the awesome movies featuring Cynthia Rothrock on Tubi. Alright, I know it's not horror, but these are action cult movies, so I do know that a bunch of you guys are fans, just like I am. So we're going to take a look and see what we can stream right now on Tubi. So here we go. We have Cynthia's first movie, Yes, Madam, from 1985. Co-stars Michelle Yeoh. Uh, and they are a pair of detectives uh, kicking butt and taking names. And if you look down below here, it says you may also like In the Line of Duty 2, The Super Cops. And this is actually the very same movie. Uh, yeah, it's under two different titles, but it is actually the same movie. So you can pick which one you want to watch. They're both the same. Um, I've kind of looked at both of them, and they are the same movie. And this is another early one in Cynthia's career, The Inspector Wears Skirts from 1988. This one is about a commando training camp of the new recruits of the Hong Kong Police Academy. Um, this is actually one I have not seen yet, so uh, this one will be played very shortly. All right, here we have another Hong Kong one with Cynthia called City Cops uh, from 1989. And in this one, she plays an American FBI agent uh, trying to take down the Chinese mafia. Uh, this is one of the first movies I think I saw with her. So, uh, yeah, I do have a soft spot for this one. This one's pretty good. All right, next up we have Angel of Fury from 1990. In this one, Cynthia plays the head of security, uh, delivering a uh, top-secret computer uh, to a company office in, uh, I think, Indonesia. All right, and next up from 1992, we have Lady Dragon, uh, co-starring Richard Norton and Robert Ginty. Um, in this one, Cynthia is trying to get revenge uh, on the man that killed her husband. And this one does have a sequel, but I don't believe it is on Tubi at the moment. All right, and another early one that I remember seeing as a kid, Martial Law from 1991, co-starring Chad McQueen and David Carradine. And this one is about a couple of cops trying to take down uh, a gang led by a kung fu expert. And then we also have its sequel, Martial Law 2 Undercover. And this one co-stars Jeff Wincott, Paul Johansson, and Billy Drago. And this time they're investigating the death of a fellow policeman. All right, and next up we have a film from Gareth's favorite director, Godfrey Ho, a.k.a. Godfrey Hall, as you can see on the screen. Uh, and this one is Honor and Glory. And this one does feature Chuck Jeffries and Robin Shu. And this one is Cynthia as an FBI agent hunting down a murderer. Or, if you'd like to make fun of this movie, there is also the Rift Tracks version. Uh, Rift by your favorite uh, folks from the Mystery Science Theater. And here we have, of course, another Godfrey Ho movie. This time it's Undefeatable. In this one, she is hunting down her sister's killer. <laughs> Um, and this one is uh, kind of notorious for being terrible, um, and it kind of is, but it's super fun. Up next from 1994, we have Guardian Angel, in which Cynthia plays a bodyguard protecting a wealthy guy from a uh, a, a, a lady that is not um, quite all there, <laughs> put it that way. All right, next up we have 1996's Sworn to Justice. This is the uh, this is the sexy Cynthia Rothrock movie, and it does co-star Tony LoBianco and Kurt McKinney and Brad Dourif. So in this one, Cynthia plays a psychologist uh, who kind of has some uh, ESP, and she again is getting revenge on the uh, the folks that killed her sister and nephew, I believe. All right, now we start the, the rest of these I don't believe I've seen. So we got from 1997, Night Vision, 
and it does co-star Fred Williamson and Robert Forster. And in this one, it looks like Cynthia is the rookie partner, uh, and they're hunting down a serial killer who records uh, his victim's deaths. All right, next up we have 2013's Mercenaries. I've heard this is sort of the female version of The Expendables. And it is directed by Christopher Douglas Olin Ray, Fred Olin Ray's son. And it does co-star Vivica A. Fox, Zoe Bell, Christina Logan, and Brigitte Nielsen. And all these lovely ladies play a team of elite commandos trying to rescue a dignitary. And then Cynthia started doing some family-friendly films, including The Martial Arts Kid from 2015. It also has Don the Dragon Wilson in it. And it is, of course, about a kid uh, facing his bullies. All right, and next up we have from 2018, Showdown in Manila. I know she's not listed in the credits right there, but she is indeed in this movie. And it is directed by Mark Dacascos. Um, and it does feature Alexander Nevsky, Casper Van Dien, Tia Carrere, and Carrie Hiroyuki Tagawa. And it looks like this is about a team being formed to fight off some terrorists in the jungle. All right, from 2017, we have Star Raiders, The Adventures of Saber Rain. Uh, this, I do know that this is a, uh, a, sci a low-budget sci-fi action film uh, starring Casper Van Dien. And if you can't tell by the cover there, it is very much a uh, Han solo -y type thing, at least from what I can tell from the trailer. All right, and back to the family-friendly stuff. We have A Dog on Hollywood, directed by Jim Wynorski, who, yes, even Jim Wynorski has done some family features. And, I mean, who doesn't like a good uh, kid dog movie, right? <laughs> All right, also from 2017, we've got Death Fighter. Co-starring Don the Dragon Wilson. And this is about a cop going after one of Thailand's most dangerous criminals. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to check this one out. And it's, and it's fairly recent. So, All right. And in this one, she only does a voice, thankfully, uh, of Cool Cat Saves the Kids, the director's cut. Also featuring voices of Vivica A. Fox and Eric Estrada. I have no idea what this one is really like. I, I'm scared to watch the trailer. <laughs> All right. And the final movie that she's in, there, there are more, so stay tuned. But the last movie is Fury of the Fist and the Golden Fleece. And this one also has Michael Dudikoff, Richard Grieco, and Danny Trejo. And this one is a comedy. I believe Cynthia's part is quite small, maybe even a cameo. Uh, it does, this does seem to be a campy uh, exploitation flick kind of deal. All right, and Cynthia is also in a miniseries on Tubi. She's in Diary of a Lunatic. And it does involve something about parallel universes, and that's really kind of all I know. And there's only three episodes. So there you go. All right, and she's also involved in three documentaries on Tubi. First up, we have the Martial Arts History Museum biography of Cynthia Rothrock. came out in 2019, and it's only a half an hour long. Uh, there are a series of these on Tubi. This one focuses on Cynthia. All right, and this one is a compilation of sorts. It is Top Fighter 2, Deadly China Dolls. So it does feature footage from uh, a few of Cynthia's movies. Uh, so yeah, nothing new, but if you just want highlights and some fighting, this is the one for you. And finally, we have Fist of Fury from 2016. This one is hosted by Cynthia Rothrock. Again, it's sort of a clip movie, uh, and, it, and it is directed by Charles Band. Yep, so there you go. Those are the movies that are currently streaming on Tubi featuring the one and only Cynthia Rothrock. Uh, let me know which ones you've seen. Let me know which ones you're going to watch. And until next time, adios, Bela Lugosi.